I was walking across Tower Hill um, and I saw this druid ceremony taking place. There were all these people in white clothes. So I went over and heard them talking about the harvest and blessing of the land. I didn't realise at the time an obsession was born. I started visiting all these sorts of strange rituals that were taking place all over England that I had no idea were taking place. But at first I was just literally there to take pictures, to um, make paintings from. Thinking I'd just do something quite straightforward, take some pictures, make some painting. But I kind of became an accidental filmmaker. I'd never made a film before, I even thought about making a film. But now I've got this huge archive of footage from all these different rituals and the folk customs that I've visited. The films became like a documentary of an experience I was having. The paintings themselves are mysteries. They're living stories. They're things that people have passed down. It's like this kind of incredible folk tradition of oral storytelling. You know, you speak to some people, they say it's pagan origins. It goes all the way back to pagan times, which is so exciting, you know, the thought of that. And then you have a lot of people saying, well, that can't be right because this, this, this. Do I care? Um, about the truth of if it began in pagan times, not really. I'm a romantic artist. I love the idea that people believe that. I love the, people, the idea that people are passing down stories. And I love the fact that they keep it alive. When I was first visiting these and I was looking at the people's outfits and their incredible masks and the flags and all the effort that's gone into the, you know, a pure kind of folk art, it got me thinking about the creative impulse. In a way, it's like the art of working class people going back centuries. I felt that like I was right back at the birth of art. And that is what uh, inspired me to approach a man called Simon Costin. He is currently setting up a museum of British folklore. Day to day he works in the fashion industry, he's worked with big people such as Alexander the Queen. He has in his possession a huge collection of objects related to um, British folk traditions, British folk art. What you'll see on the wall is 20 paintings representing different folk traditions that take place across the UK. There'll also be a film that captures uh, these same traditions. And then there'll obviously be Simon Costin's incredible collection. I want this exhibition to be a celebration of uh, British folk culture, but also a celebration of the universality of rituals and the fact that everybody in all cultures practice this. And you could say it's what divides us, but actually for me, rituals and culture is what connects us because it's what inspires curiosity between different parts of the world. We're living in, you know, troublesome times in a respect politically, you know, the political climate. We've got this fear of uh, climate change and we've got this collective fear of Brexit and what Britain will become, Brexit Britain. And for me, I kind of just want people to reconnect to this universal feeling of what it is to be human. It's very easy just to get pigeonholed that it's happening in Britain, but it's happening everywhere. It's a big part of human culture itself. And I think in some respects my work just begun.